Hi, and welcome to Bluebell Storytime Online. I'm Miss Mandy from the Baby Comer Memorial Library here in Sylacauga. Last week, I did a story time about cats, so this week it's about dogs. At the, at the library right now, we're in the middle of a fundraiser for the Sylacauga Animal Shelter. They are a very worthy cause, taking in lots of dogs and cats all the time and, and hoping to uh, get them adopted out to someone. And I know they're always in need of, of food and other items, cleaning supplies, so so we are doing a fundraiser. We have a Christmas tree upstairs at the library, and for a dollar or more, you can put a uh, paper Christmas ornament of a dog or a cat on our tree. You can put your name or your pet's name or whatever you'd like to put on there, and all the money will go to the Silicaga Animal Shelter. So please come in and see us and uh, support the animal shelter. All right, let me read you this first book called The Stray Dog. It is uh, retold and illustrated by Mark Samant. And the publisher is Harper Collins. I'd like to thank them for allowing me to share this with you. It was a great day for a picnic. What's this? asked the father. It's a scruffy little dog, said the mother. He looks hungry, said the girl. I think he wants to play, said the boy. The children played with him and taught him to sit up. They named him Willie. They kept playing until it was time to go. Let's take Willie home, said the children. No, said his father. He must belong to somebody, explained the mother, and they would miss him. On the way home, the girl said, maybe Willie doesn't belong to anybody. During the week, all the family had Willie on their minds. And here they are back on Saturday, having another picnic in the same park. Willie, they all cried when he appeared, but Willie didn't stop. Willie was in a big hurry. Uh-oh, it looks like maybe the animal catcher is chasing him. He has no collar. He has no leash, said the dog warden. This dog is a stray. He doesn't belong to anybody. The boy took off his belt. Here's his collar, he said. The girl took off her hair ribbon. Here's his leash, she said. His name is Willie, and he belongs to us. Oh, they're having a great time. They took Willie home. Looks like they gave him a bath. And after that, they introduced him to the neighborhood where he met some very interesting dogs. Lots of dogs. And Willie settled in right where he belonged. I love this story, and as I was about to read it today, I saw that The Stray Dog, this book, had its origin in 1983 when Mr. Samant, the author, heard his friend Rico Sasa's touching story of adopting a stray dog. Over 15 years later, he's found a way to share the tale, capturing its essence in this appealing picture book. So true. All right, now I want us to sing probably everybody's favorite song about a dog, and that is Bingo. All right? If you've never sung it before, that's okay. You're going to catch on really quick and be able to sing it with me. There was a farmer had a dog, and Bingo was his name. Oh, B-I-N-G-O, B-I-N-G-O. N-G-O, B-I-N-G-O, and Bingo was his name -o. Now, the second time around, we don't say B, but we're going to clap once. You ready? There was a farmer had a dog, and Bingo was his name -o. I -n -g -o. I -n -g -o. I -n -g -o. and Bingo was his name -o. Now... We're going to clap twice for B and I. Ready? There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name-o. N-G-O, N-G-O, N-G-O and bingo was his name-o. I bet you got it. Now you know what we're going to do next. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name-o. G-O. Geo, Geo, and Bingo was his name. Oh, almost to the end. 
there was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, 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 and bingo was his name. Oh. Now the last time, you probably got it. It's all clapping. Ready? There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh. And bingo was his name. Oh, very good. Great. The next story I'd like to read has to be one of my all-time favorites. It is about kittens, but it is about a dog, too. So that's why it's in this story time today. Katie loves the kittens. I'd like to thank the author and illustrator, John Himmelman, and the publisher, Henry Holt and Company, for allowing me to share this book with you. And I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Katie loves the kittens. Today was the most exciting day in Katie's whole life. Sarah Ann had brought home three kittens. Katie loved those kittens so much. As soon as she saw them, she howled, Aroo, aroo. She always howled like that when she was very happy. But Katie's howling frightened the kittens. They ran in all directions. Katie chased them around the house. Aroo, aroo, she howled. No, 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 Katie said Sarah Ann. You are scaring the kittens. You stay away from them until they get used to you. Katie felt sad. She did not want to scare the kittens. Later that day, Sarah Ann was playing with her new pets. Katie watched from around a corner. She wanted to play with the kittens, too. She just loved them so much. She tried to control herself. She tried and tried and tried. But Katie couldn't stop herself any longer. She burst into the room, and the kittens scattered. Arr, arr, she howled as she chased them around the room. No, Katie, no, said Sarah Ann. You scared them again. Katie felt even sadder than before. Poor little kitten, she thought. That night, the kitten slept with Sarah Ann in her bed. Katie missed them already. Katie went out the kitchen door. She looked up at Sarah Ann's window. That's where the kittens are, she thought. She climbed the bushes and looked in the window. The kittens were fast asleep. Oh, what sweet little kittens, she thought. I would love to smell them. She sniffed as hard as she could, but they were too far away. She quietly climbed onto the windowsill. She quietly slid under the window and leapt on the bed. The kittens went flying in the air. Katie was so excited. Arroo, arroo, she howled. Sarah Ann picked up the dog. Katie, what am I going to do with you? Don't you like these kittens? Katie felt very, very sad. In the morning, Katie walked into the kitchen. Three bowls of food waited for her. She ate the first bowl. Mmm, this is good, she thought. She ate the second bowl. Yummy, yummy, yum, yum, she thought. When she was halfway through the last bowl, Sarah Ann walked in. Oh, Katie, you ate the kitten's food, she said. Oh, no, thought Katie. Now she felt sadder than ever. She went to her bed and lay down. I love those little kittens so much, she thought and all I do is scare them and eat their food. Katie stayed in her bed all day. After a while, she fell asleep. When she woke up, she was not alone. The kittens had fallen asleep on top of her. Katie was so happy, she wanted to howl, she wanted to jump, she wanted to chase them all over the room and run around in circles and play with them, but she didn't. That's my good little Katie, said Sarah Ann. And there, I think the kittens finally got used to Katie and she got to play with them like she would like to. Well, thank you so much for joining me at Storytime today. And we hope you'll come into the library to check out some good books on dogs and cats or anything and to help us support the Silicaga Animal Shelter.